Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and again I'm playing with these colours again. I have, still haven't hit on a method that I desire to use for the project that I'm doing. So, oh, I've got black all over my hands. That's okay. I'm repainting over this insipid pink thing. Um, some of you will remember I played with mixing colours in a video a while ago. This was the result of it and I don't like it. And instead of throwing it out, I thought I'd reuse it for a tester. Hey, if it comes out really, really cool, you get two for the price of one. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Anyway, we're sticking with the black. But um, I really do want to... I, I really liked that painting I did with Kathy. Um, so, I'm going to play, going to play, going to play, going to play. Uh, first of all, we're going to pour some black. Just quite a bit so that we've got stuff to run. Alright, I'm not actually going to put any more black into the cup. So let's have a look at our cup. My disgustingly dirty um, pouring jug. But it is clean on the inside, I promise. <laughs> I don't know why I don't do it properly. Anyway, so what are we doing? Uh, we are doing... Well, we are if I can find it. Where is it? There, white. <laughs> I'm going to do a dirty cup bottom bottom pour like I did with Kathy not a lot of white just enough um, I'm going to use violet which has silicon in it so let's put some of that in there I'm going to use well, I was going to use turquoise with silicon, but I'll use turquoise without silicon because I have that. Well, I could mix some silicon. Here we go. This is what I do. I mix up a whole tin, a whole tube of paint, get it all to the right consistency, and then I take it out into one of these little tins and... Um, apply the silicon and this is about 45 mils or one and a half ounces of paint and two tiny drops of personal lubricant this particular one durex play perfect glide is a hundred percent silicon so a hundred percent dimethicone hey funky check out what's happening in the cup see those little stripes i love that Anyway, <laughs> so we've got silicon in our turquoise as well. Let's put some of that in there. I want quite a bit of colour. I also want a bit of lighter um, violet. This one's just mixed with the white. Just to add a little bit of contrast. And then I'm going to go through again. Some more violet. I'm going to have way too much paint, just word of warning. And some more turquoise. Turquoise. Pretty cup, eh? Look at that. <gasps> yum, yum. <laughs> okay. Let's pour. Let's play, baby cakes. Now, why did I not put any black in? One. That violet, when it dries, dries almost black. That's a starting point. Um, so there you go, actually, on this violet stick, you can see, if I can get it to focus on that particular bit. Hello there. So that is actually the violet dry, it's not black. And that's the turquoise dry. So... Hence me putting in the white. Oh, look at 
that. It's so pretty. Um, and not adding the black into the mix. We've already got a darkness there. And we've got some here to start us off. It's already got black that will be dragging along the sides. So I'm just going to pour with slight circles just to get some random evenness. And I'm going to stop before we get too much white in there. Looks like we're on a bit of a tilt. What do you reckon? That's pretty. Pretty awesome. Okay. Tell you what, I really like the top of my bottom my bottle there. I'm gonna dip a cabochon in that. <laughs> ah how much fun can you have creating guys? And what parts of your life have you made so boring and dull that you're unwilling to see the beauty when it shows up? All right, so if you haven't seen me do this before, um, this is a glass capuchon. There's the flat side. And that's the bit that I'm going to dip into the paint. And then the, um, the rounded side is on some blue tack or poster putty or whatever you want to call that. Focus. Hello, phone. Hello, phone, my dear friend. There we go. So we've got it on the blue tack and then onto a stick so I've got a handle to play with. And I find that makes it really easy for dipping. And we're just going to dip straight into the center. Peel it off and we've got a beautiful looking cabochon. It's so pretty. Huh. Looks like a seal coming up out of the water. Anyway, pop that aside and get back to the painting. Um, <laughs> don't tell me we're going to end up wanting to dip and dip and dip in that centre. No, we're not. We're just going to get rid of that. Out you come. Right. That into my bowl of water that's beside me. Clean off my fingers. When I lift things off like that, guys, I always put my pick it up and pop my hand underneath so that if anything drips, we can it doesn't drip into the painting. I actually really don't like the look of random drips got in the way kind of deal. So anyway, I'm just gonna take it. down this way and back and over to that corner and back and down to this corner. I feel like there's just too much black in the center of this one. And back. But I do like those colors. Against the black, it just looks delicious. I'm actually going to leave it off center because I really like the way that right hand side stretches out. 
those layers. Just want that to roll over. There we go. I like that a lot. A lot, 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 lot. <sighs> Almost don't want to put the um put the torch on it because I don't actually want bubbles or dots or sometimes when you're doing these you and you put the torch on it, it will, um, the air bubbles will actually bring it up white, although under all of this is black, isn't it? So it's not going to be quite such a harsh reality. There are air bubbles in there though, and I'm not liking that. So I am going to torch it just a quick torch so when I say torch I'm using a butane refillable flame torch keeping it the flame off the paint just moving it lots and it just pops the air bubbles it's really great and it can bring up silicon in some places if you've got silicon hiding under there you kind of have to warm it a little bit more. I like that. I like that a lot. Just so you know, that's that bit there is actually my flash. Well, I'm done. And I love it. And I think it's dis disgustingly delicious. Disgustingly delicious. How does it get any better than that? Hmm. Right. So, next step. <laughs> next step is to leave this to dry. So, I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm also going to have a look at what's underneath here. See if there's any things. But got lots of paint left so I'm definitely going to be doing something with this so stay with me I'll be right back I just realized I didn't show you up close and personal <laughs> what do I really love about this painting let me show you oh my goodness it's so pretty unwind Wow. Oops, sorry, unwind one more time. Get rid of that cable. Just look at that. And these two here are my favourite. Look at the way those layers upon layers upon layers have stretched out. That one's got a weird sort of smushed look to it, and that one's got two smushed looks, but I still like it. So there you go. I like this piece. This one actually looks almost like an Egyptian mummy. <laughs> oh, funny. Anyway, let's put this away. I'll be right back. Okay. So there's some pretty cool stuff in here and one thing that's just really popped out at me is this little patch here um, looks like an elephant mask <laughs> and then on the top it looks like a fish flopping around on the land and I'm just like I'm so intrigued by it I'm gonna capture it
I quite like it. I think it's funky. We'll see what it's like when it's dry and I see if I change my mind. <laughs> um, the next bit is on top of this can here. And I think I'm going to do a teardrop into that bit. If I can find my teardrop. There it is. Okay, so just gonna go in there. That's quite pretty. So what else do we have? What's on top of that one? Anything else that's jumping out at me saying, pick me? I actually think I'd quite like a pair of earrings out of this. Not quite sure how that's gonna work. But let's grab our little itty bitty sticks with blue tack and give it a go because you know oh i've only actually got one little earring bit left that's a bit nasty can't do that need to order more if you want to know where i order mine from i get mine from amazon there's a link in the description below um what else is possible all right, what else is possible is I'm just going to gather up this paint. Let's zoom me out a bit, eh? Um, move this out of the way. I'm just scrapey, 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 scrapey. And then use this to push that up onto there. See? No wastage. Um, okay. So I'm not actually going to use this as a um, to make anything out of, I don't think. I don't. I'm just going to make a So this cardboard is the inside of a cereal box. For those of you that haven't watched me before, hold on a minute. I just got the um, the little tray, baking tray. Uh, and I'm just going to pour through the middle of that. Create a line. I like lines. <laughs> Why do I like lines? They're really cool to make material out of. <laughs> Let's torch that. Tilting it. I 
don't want to lose that black line around the outside um, and the reason for that is it makes it really easy to edit to cut it and trim it if it's got a clear edge well I like that look at that yum 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 I really 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 like that that's so basic there's a weird breaky thing happening in my cells over here though check this out that's weird these ones are all looking pretty good over there is looking a bit me all right well my dear friends I have had fun creating this with you and I'm going to let it all dry and come back to you very shortly with the dried results so I'll see you soon in three two one all right it dried yay <laughs> um it dried so brilliant like brilliant colors the colors have just come out beautiful I really like it it's very textured um, as you can see if I get it on the right angle it's got lots of little lumpsy bumpsies but they're all I don't know what they are they're just it's 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 textured rather than lumpy does that make sense there's not chunks of paint in there or chunks of stuff it's just textured it's cool I like it really like the colors really 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 like those colors Super happy with that. Yum! Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum. <laughs> anyway, so that was that. And it looks great. And I really like it. And then we move over to our cardboard. And wow, wow, wow. That's all I can say on that. I had super fun making stuff with Mirror Lab on that one. If you guys don't know what Mirror Lab is, please check out my video on it. Um, just go to my channel and search Mirror Lab. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description. If you can't find it, let me know in the comments and I will hunt it out for you. I really like that. I might even put a mon montage of what I created with this. Uh, but yeah, really like that. And the cabochons came out great. Um, this is my fishy and elephant mask. <laughs> so weird. But I like it. This one is stunning. So I can get it to do a close up for you. That actually shows you how beautiful it is. Sorry. Hands shaking. Wow, come on. And then this one is bright in your face and funky donkey. So I'm very happy with the way all of those came out and the cardboard and the painting. And I realized after I finished my last video um, with showing you all the dry stuff, I forgot to show you the dry of the, uh, the tree painting. 
So I thought I'd tuck that in here. Um, which way am I going? Sideways. Here we go. So this is the tree um, team trees video that I did. Um, it was a super um, impromptu, no notification to anyone kind of one. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's uh, got some cool cells as well as a very Christmassy themed over picture. So pleased with that one, super pleased with all of those and what else is possible? What can I create now? How much fun can I have? How much fun can you have in your day? I adore you and I will see you again super super soon. Bye bye!